Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend of December 6th through December 8th. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't because this is in fact a general reading. Also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because it's dated for this weekend doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate over the weekend. Yeah, whenever um, you were guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you at that time. Um, I can already tell that I may have to close my blinds at one point because it's cloudy enough where the sun is not compromising the shot, but it looks like some of those clouds are clearing. So bear with me, be prepared for that. I might have to get up and close my blinds. Also, they are in the process of laying the foundation, pouring the foundation, like building the frame to pour more of the foundation at the building across the street that they're doing construction on. You may be able to hear them hammering away right now. I apologize if it's too distracting. I'm going to be doing my best to not get distracted, but it is what it is. They are building that building across the street, so I can't really stop that. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't really have a pre-shuffle this t this morning. I, to be honest with you, I really wasn't feeling it. I pulled some, I sat here and I, I pulled and, you know, some things fell out, but nothing really resonated on the collective scale. So, so um, I'm just going to do that now and we're just going to dive into it and see what we get. Yeah, so let's just get started. All right, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, December 6th through Sunday, December 8th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles, but I can already tell you that it's going to be a challenge for me to, to not be distracted by the noise across the street. But we will get through it, you guys. I promise. I promise. Okay. All right. So for our weekend edition, what is it? that we are going to be discussing today for Friday, December 6th through Sunday, December 8th, 2019. Let's see what we get for the collective today. You know, when I was sitting there and just channeling, just connecting with the energies of the collective, I was seeing a lot of different colors. Um, the main ones being yellow, which is the staple, which has been our staple color for a while. Um, but also there was blue, but then there was also pink and that one kind of hovered for a while. Um, and it's as if the divine, the universe was saying to us, we just want you guys to be happy. We want you to feel unconditional love, especially with the weekend coming up. It's like, just be free, be happy, do what pleases you, have fun, you know, Go out and explore a little bit. Get out of your head. Get out of your apartment. Maybe see some, go hang out with some friends. Go get some brunch. Have some dinner. Have some drinks. Go dancing. Do something to lighten yourselves. You know, that's what that pink color was, was saying. Okay. We have some that's fallen out here. All right. For our weekend edition let's keep going there's more okay i'm gonna do one more okay i'm gonna do one more pass and then we'll see what we have for our weekend for the collective december 6th through december 8th Woo. okay that's enough all right oh boy look at this 
overall energy is the five of pentacles again five of pentacles oh wait okay guys okay guys yeah i really do hold on and bear with me for a second i gotta um gotta close this because the sun's coming and i love the sun but it's just gonna destroy our shot here okay and again unfortunately i don't have my lamp handy but oh nope there it is there it is there it is there it is all right so overall energy we have the five of pentacles again and it's that same side of the card where you have this individual that is inside but but is not it's he's not like out in the cold per se but he's not having a good time of it i'll tell you that i will tell you that i mean look at this He's stressed out about something. What are you stressed out about here? But then you also have the Eight of Cups on the other side of the deck. All right. So, okay. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is a little bit of a confusing energy right now. You do have the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Magician. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And you have the Ten of Swords. So, It's very interesting guys what i'm kind of feeling here is someone is walking away from something from some sort of established energy okay um wow all right so what i'm getting here you guys is this is this is for the masculine so we have a we have we have another reading here another message that's directed towards the masculine so if you are one of if you are an energy that is more masculine in na in nature if you're a person that's more masculine in nature um then this is probably a message for you we could be also be talking about the ma the inner masculine for you if you're more on the feminine side but what i'm feeling with this is someone is upset because someone's walking away Someone feels helpless because someone is walking away. And to be quite honest, it feels like it's this Queen of Pentacles that's walking away here. Because look at what we have. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Magician. Yep, we have the Magician. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so it's like someone is walking away with their head held high, knowing full and well what they are worth. And they're going to manifest exactly what it is they want in terms of what it is they're worth and to be quite honest we only see the only the individuals the only i'm sorry the only face that we are seeing right now is the face of the magician and i'm getting a feeling from this magician it's like you it's like you're going to it's almost as if you're going to prove to someone that you can do bad on your own that you're, you can do fine on your own, that you are going to make whatever it is you desire to make happen, happen. It's almost a defiant stance, but at the same time, I mean, that's from an egoic point of view. From a higher perspective, you're just manifesting. You're not even trying to show off. You're not even trying to show out. You're just manifesting. You're just doing the damn thing. You're, you're minding your own... Oh my God, and it's so perfect that... <laughs> It's so perfect that I chose this cup today because you're basically just manifesting your dreams and minding your own business, right? <clears throat> and someone can't handle it. Someone's upset about it. Someone's upset about it. What I heard is they lost a chance. They lost an opportunity. This is very similar to the four of cups energy, this five of pentacles, and yet it's not. And it's funny because I feel like someone is holed up in there sanctuary and yet maybe that sanctuary is becoming more of a prison very interesting you guys so okay that, it, this could be an energy uh, a, a um a message for the masculine if you're looking at this from a twin flame divine counterpart um uh balance between masculine and feminine energy type of point of view it doesn't have to be that way though because this is a similar story there's a similar narrative 
as to what's been coming out over the past few days. And not all of it is resonating on that Twin Flame level. But also, the Ten of Swords is here yet again. But keep in mind, guys, that when this card came out yesterday and the day, I believe it was the day before, it was this side of the, of the card in which it looked like someone was letting something was eclipsing their lives. But now it seems that someone has finally stopped sitting here staring at whatever the, 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 the destruction was. They're releasing it, moving on. They're not staring at it anymore, knowing their worth, sitting in their Queen of Pentacles energy and manifesting something new from their place of independence. And I guess... All right, so... <clears throat> Whether you are a masculine counterpart in some sort of twin flame energy or connection, or you are just the, you were the significant other of whomever this person is that's kind of like in their queen of pentacles energy, not taking any shit any longer and knows what they're worthy of, knows their worth, or you're just the, some sort of manipulative individual that someone else is leaving behind the, the 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 gist of the situation is that someone has finally found their power and especially if you are in if you are the masculine here i don't know how to put this into words I really don't even know how I was going to put that into words. Well, yes, I just heard you've got to learn to take your power back too. To manifest what it is you truly desire. Mm. I lost where I was going with that, unfortunately, but <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, now, for the other person that's no longer allowing something to eclipse their life, like we were talking about yesterday, that's an excellent thing. That is very, very good. It is very good. I do kind of feel like you're in the beginning stages of manifesting something new for yourself. However, you got to start somewhere, right? Of course. Okay. Let's dive into some greater clarity. I'm going to tar <laughs> I'm going to tar I'm going to start with this 10 of swords here. Let's let's look at this 10 of swords. And then I want to look at the magician and the 9 of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, I really got, I, I, I had something there and it totally went blank on it. Oh, well, sorry guys. All right. All right. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> bear with me. I'm a little scattered today. I don't know why. I'm a little scattered. Okay. Ten of Swords. Fool. Overall energy is the Queen of Cups. Yeah. What is this? The Three of Cups. Okay. The Fool. Four of Cups. Oh, damn. The Queen of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. So, okay. So, with this Ten of Swords energy here, there was some sort of third party. There was some sort of, and, and, and third party doesn't necessarily always mean that someone is cheating on you, okay? Third party could be any sort of extraneous or external influence in a situation that isn't necessarily supposed to be there, isn't necessarily really a part or is meant not necessarily meant to be a part of whatever the situation was. Um, 
what I'm getting with this Three of Cups energy also, there's a there's an energy of, of like a group of people ganging up on someone else. It's like strength in numbers, and yet that strength in numbers was used to the advantage of someone that was creating or either someone or a certain circumstance that's what, that was creating some sort of really destructive, very painful, terrible situation, okay? But someone woke up to it. Queen of Swords here. All right. Um, and it's interesting. What I'm getting with the Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords is that the the Four of Cups is giving me a uh, past and a, and a present energy. In the past, the Four of Cups was um, you basically being rejected or someone here basically being rejected, being possibly taken advantage of, uh, an energy of unrequited love, whatnot, whatever. But someone woke up to it. Someone became privy to it and was like, you know what? I'm done with this. No more. And so now whomever is being walked away from is feeling this four of cups energy, this rejection, this unrequited love here. You do have the six of cups. Uh, this could have to do with family. The third party could, been, could have been family. You could also be dealing with a soulmate. Some, uh, maybe even a twin flame energy. Okay, sure. We already knew that a little bit. Um, you have the two of pentacles with the fool. So whatever move was made to change something, to cut something out of someone's life, it was in, in an effort to bring greater balance to it. Okay. See, that's the thing about this. That's, uh, I guess, some of the masculines need to hear if you're listening to this. The reason why you're feminine or someone, and if it's not just, if we're not just talking to the masculines, then whomever it is that was the perpetrator, we'll call them in this circumstance. The reason why this person is walking away, has chosen to cut ties, has chosen to move forward, is in service of greater balance, is all in service of greater balance for their lives, but also unconditional love and compassion, not just for you potentially, but for themselves. The Queen of Cups represents empathy, but in her highest form, she represents emotional balance, emotional security, and unconditional love. And you can't hold that for someone else. Well, I'm sorry, you can't hold that for yourself. Wait, hold on. Right, you can't hold it for someone else without holding it for yourself first. Okay, it would be hypocritical for someone to hold unconditional love for someone outside of them, but then to put themselves through the ringer of judgment and denial and whatnot, whatever, and, and, and self-defeat, self-destruction, self-sabotage, whatnot, whatever. And yet we do it all the time, right? Well, not anymore. Not anymore. This person has put an end to it. And it's almost as if I'm getting, I'm feeling like, especially with this five of pentacles here, but you, it's like someone says, but you say, you tell me you love me. You say you love me unconditionally. Why are you leaving me? Why am I leaving? Because the situation is toxic. Because the situation is unbalanced. I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. <sighs> okay, so let's move forward here. <clears throat> I mean, you have, the, you have the, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords on the table so far, all right? So, and in my opinion, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles are like besties, are like best friends, all right? But this Queen of Swords energy here, which you can't see anymore because now it's off the screen. But this Queen of, of Swords and um, yes, this Queen of Swords energy is someone that's really not going to take any bullshit. She's not. She's done. All right. So then, with that said, I'm so sorry for the <laughs> the banging across the street. But anyway, with that said, let's look at this: the Magician with the Nine of Pentacles. So what is it? What are you manifesting here? What is the new that's coming to you? Or what do you, what do we need to know? What do you need to, oh, 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 almost fell. Okay, five of cups, page of cups. Interesting. I don't feel like this is, 
you. I feel like this is someone else. I feel like this is whomever it is you're walking away from. Now all of a sudden, now that you're walking away, now that they have that unrequited love of the four of... Yeah, I told... Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Now that we have someone being... Have, someone getting that... This four of cups energy thrown right back at them. And, I, and I'm going to be honest, it doesn't feel like you're throwing it back at them for spiteful reasons. There might be a little twinge of resentment here or there, but in, in, to be quite honest, it's really just a matter of saying, no more, I'm done, I'm not doing this anymore, and I'm walking away. And I'm moving towards something that's healthier, something that's more balanced, something that's more reciprocal in my life, right? Well, now that you're doing that... Someone's feeling the pinch, five of cups to the page of cups, and they're like, um, I'm sorry. Or they're wanting to apologize. They're wanting to reconcile. Now, you could be manifesting this just by standing on your, in your own power. There might be an energy of someone trying to consciously manifest this, but look at this. Justice, the six of pentacles with the king of wands. Overall energy is the knight of wands. Reciprocity is key here. I mean, this is literally so okay. So now the other thing that I'm feeling here is this also could be your energy. Whomever is manifesting this, whomever is standing in this magician nine of pentacles energy, this could be your energy. However, I feel like if this is your, if this is representing you, this is the past. So this could be someone feeling the pinch and feeling sad, regretful, remorseful, and wanting to apologize, wanting to reconcile. But this also could be your energy in the sense that you're, you're feeling this, the shame, the guilt, the hurt, the rejection, the pain, and, you know, um, the three. Normally, this five of cups energy is depicted as three cups spilled and yet having two cups still standing. And here you have that, those three cups right here, three of cups in reverse, right? Okay, so this could be you, or this probably was you in the past, having faced this rejection, maybe even unrequited love, however that represents, however that resonates for you, feeling this pain, this rejection, and as a result, dreaming, saying to yourself, okay, what is it that I do really want? What, and, and, and it's, and, <laughs> You may not have necessarily seen it in this way at that time, but this basically pushed you to figure out what it is you actually do want, to actually start dreaming about what do I really want in a relationship or what do I want to make, how, what's going to help me feel happy? How do I feel happy? This could be the very beginning of you focusing on your emotions. This could have been the wake-up call that you needed. Someone finally pushed you far enough where it was like, now you started looking at this could have been inadvertently this could have been you know you before you didn't even realize it yourself but now you really started to focus on your emotions and do something about them okay but that but then if that's you this is a past energy because currently you're here queen of pentacles the magician and the nine of pentacles all right knowing your worth and manifesting some, from something better for you from a place of independence and autonomy, yes? Okay. And thus, what do you have here? What are you man? So, so what is it that you're manifesting? The King of Wands, Justice, and the Six of Pentacles. Something that is reciprocal. And here's the only depiction of, the of masculine energy other than this Knight of Wands here on the bottom of the deck. Now, <clears throat> this is interesting because the knight of I'm sorry the king of wands could represent the divine masculine so are you manifesting some sort of situation in which your divine masculine counterpart or the person that you've been involved with if this is like say if this is a relationship I do feel like some of you are manifesting this person back into your life, but from in a more balanced and reciprocal space or balanced and reciprocal energy with the six of pentacles. At this point, it's like this person, five of pentacles here, 
Five of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Okay, with you walking away, this could be sending them into a tailspin. Being like, holy, holy shit, what the fuck do I do now? Right? And eventually they could, they could come back into your life or re make a reappearance in your life in a more balanced and harmonious way, in a more reciprocal way. And if it's not this, this same person, it's someone new. It's someone new that's passionate, that's willing to accept what you have to off offer is what I just heard. You may even be willing to accept what they have to offer because it's in greater alignment with you. Justice. Okay. Now, at the same time, this could be for the masculine here. The Six of Pentacles, especially coupled with justice, could be you getting exactly what you deserve. You getting your comeuppance. And if that makes you cringe, if that triggers you a little bit, then I think you know exactly what that means, right? If you want to manipulate, especially with this King of Wands energy, this King of Wands can be extremely manipulative. Like... The only, I mean, they all, all of the kings can be manipulative, but the king of wands, man, that's like, that's on a whole other level, to be honest. Like that, I mean, that's just like the epitome of ego and um, self, being self-absorbed and just completely selfish and whatnot, whatever, okay? And if that was you, if that's how you were acting, then, I mean, you get what you put back out, what you get back what you put out there, right? Now, I, I do feel, on the other hand, that if you are manifesting someone like this into your life, this is someone that's really passionate and caring and maybe even really protective. And you have the Knight of Wands here. There's a lot of passion Someone could come in really quickly, really unexpectedly. This also could be a symbol of awakening with this Knight of Wands energy. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, I'm getting a sense that someone might also might feel left out in some way. Or they may, eventually, they may end up feeling left out. But to be honest, that's, a, that's, their, own, that's their own doing. It's literally their own doing. King of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Justice. That could have been your own doing. Okay. All right. So let's get Spirit's take on this. Oh, we've got a shorter reading today. And then I have a new Oracle deck that I'm very, very excited to use. And actually, it feels like it's, this would be a perfect time to use it. So, all right. One last shuffle. And then I just want to get Spirit's take on this. Some higher wisdom, some higher perspective here. Ace of Swords. Oof. Oof. Ace of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. Overall energy is the Nine of Cups, though. Okay. That's, that's good. That's good. What do we have here? We have this, the Six of Cups with the Page of Cups. Okay. The Ten of Pentacles to the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. I mean, the Six of Cups to the, to the Ace, of, to the, I'm sorry, to the, to the Page of Cups here is definitely uh, someone from your past wanting to reconcile. Wanting to apologize, wanting to say I'm sorry, and again, but also it could be you looking at 
what it is you truly desire. And it's interesting because if we are talking about a twin flame situation, a twin flame dynamic, this is exactly what the twin flame journey is meant to do. It's meant to trigger you into feeling through your emotions and healing. Okay. Your emotions help being able to help you heal what needs to be healed, right? I'm getting that from the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles in this situation is speaking to a lesson learned. And I, I just can't help but get the feeling that with this lesson learned here, and also with these energies of someone wanting to reconcile here, it's like the air is open for communication and to make some sort of offer, to speak some sort of truth and make some sort of offer. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. What I'm getting with the Ten of Pentacles here is like someone finally is either finally gets it or is finally starting to get it and could slowly be opening, working their way towards communicating some sort of truth, maybe even making some sort of offer of commitment. This Ace of Pentacles could also be, can we start over? Especially with this Page of Cups here. Spirit is like, what, what I really feel like they're saying here with the Six of Cups and Page of Cups, it's like, I'm, I'm trying to look at this from Spirit's point of view, and it's just like filling me with all this like love, these like feelings of love. And it's kind of in line with that pink energy that I was feeling, picking up on when I first started the reading today. Hmm. Mm hmm. Um, I really feel like there are certain masculine energies out there, masculine entities out there that are really starting to feel the pinch. That are really starting to feel the pinch. It's as if the further the further you get, or now this doesn't necessarily have to be the masculine. It could be. It could be this, these people or this situation that you seem to be walking away from. But what I'm really feeling right now is the, the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine. And it's like as the feminine gets further and further and further and further away, the masculine feels more and more of the pinch. However, the problem with that is, at least I guess from, from your point of view, masculine, I guess what you're feeling or what you're seeing is that the further she gets away, the more you feel the pinch, but the, the, the less likely it is for you two to reconcile. At least that's how you're feeling about it right now. That's the way you, that's what you're seeing. And at that point, it's like, well, why don't you just say something? Why don't you reach out? Why don't you try to communicate? And to be quite honest, it's not like your communication really has to be perfect. Okay? <clears throat> But what would really be helpful, what would really keep this individual from Queen of Swordsing you, or basically chopping your nuts off, right, would be for you to be honest and just be like, okay, look, let's just, can we, can we talk about this? Can we, like, be real. That's what's necessary. Be real. Be willing to learn. Be willing to listen. Be willing to understand. Be willing to expand. Don't let your ego get in the way. But your ego is already still standing in the way and it's keeping you from reaching out or approaching this person. Okay. But nothing, nothing is going to trigger this individual in their Queen of Swords energy more than your ego. Because that's most likely why she's walking away to begin with. Not to say she doesn't have ego also. She, she does. We all do. But basically what she wants here is for you to cut the shit and just be real. Just be honest. Be, get down to earth. Be yourself. Be authentic. Okay? Hmm. All right. So 
I'm going to get our Oracle Guidance, and it really kind of feels like this is the perfect message for this. So I have a new deck that was sent in by one of our subscribers, and it is the Getting Into the Vortex deck with by Esther and Jerry Hicks. It's the Teachings of Abraham, and it's a deck of 60 relationship cards. And I'm super excited to use this. So we're going to get... We're going to get our Oracle Guidance here. Ooh, sorry, guys. Hold on a second. Um, I just want to make sure I remember. Kayla, that's it. This deck was sent in by Kayla. Thank you so much, Kayla. Shout out to you, yeah? All right, we're going to use this. We're going to see. It's a little difficult to shuffle. I can give this three shuffles, and I'm going to see what Oracle Guidance we can get here. For this situation. Okay, here we go. What is our oracle guidance? What do you have for us today? Please, spirit. Woo! There it is, right there. All right. What does this say? This is card number 38. I can stop attracting don't wants by attention to do wants. Okay, and this says, you cannot rid the world of things that bother you. You have to go, you have got to rid your vibration of things that bother you. And when you rid your vibration of things that bother you, no things that bother you can come. But you cannot really rid anything from your vibration because there is no exclusion in this attraction-based universe. The only way to stop attracting something that you don't want is by giving your attention to something that you do want. But you have to take small steps in it. So that is the, per I mean, yes, that is quite perfect. And that's literally what this individual here in the Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups energy is doing. She is no longer giving her, in, she or he, it doesn't matter, whomever is in this energy, regardless of whether it's a twin flame situation or not, but the person that is walking away from something, okay, they are doing so because they no longer wish to give their attention to something that they don't want. Instead of sticking around and fighting or perpetuating the situation, giving it any more of their time or energy, they're saying, you know what? Screw this. I'm done. And I'm going somewhere else where I can be happy. You can follow. You can go too. But you would need to leave all of that stuff behind. All of whatever it is that's toxic about the situation or whatnot, whatever, you would need to leave that behind. No one is asking you to lose yourself or lose your identity, but we are asking you to be authentic, okay? Interesting. Because what's coming up in my head right now is this whole, I think it was Emily that I was listening to of um, Indigo Moons. It might have been her one of her last Twin Flame readings, but the masculine, there was an energy or a feeling in the masculine where it's like they're being asked to, 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 to give up themselves or to lose themselves, to lose their identities in a way. Um, and that just flashed in my head. So I guess that's what some of you are saying. But no one is asking you to not be who you are. But to be quite honest, I actually really wonder if the person that you are, that you have been or that you've grown into at this point up until now, is that truly who you are? Or is that just a facade? Is that just a mask that you're playing, for, that you have on for the world, that you've developed for the world around you, that you've developed as a result of the environment that you've been, you've been developing within? Okay, that makes perfect sense. But again, is that who you truly are? Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in.
I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fan fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. No, no, wait, not tomorrow morning, Monday morning. There it is. (laughs) Okay. Take care. Bye.